Hello, boys, girls, and families. Welcome to phase two, week two of Learn From Home. We're so happy you tuned in again this week, and we're so proud of all the work we received last week. Awesome job to all of you. I know that this has been really hard, but we're so impressed and excited to see what you've been doing from home. Keep up the good work. Okay, today we are going to complete a reading lesson together. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here so you can take a look at the materials guide with me. Remember, this is always a really great place to start. Um, so taking a look here, we are going to work on reading. And our main topic for this video and lesson is going to be comparing characters. Now, comparing characters is something that we've done before, but we're going to review it again today. And we're also going to work on identifying character traits, feelings, and motivations. Okay, so looking over at our steps, step one, video. If you're watching this, nice job. You've already completed that step. Step two, reviewing our notes on comparing characters. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at those notes together. And then you can revisit these on your own when you go to complete your activity later. For now, we'll just do a quick little review and recap. Okay, boys and girls. So anytime that we're reading a fiction story, a fiction book, we really want to get to know our characters in that book because getting to know and understand our characters helps us better connect to them and it helps us better understand what the story is all about. That's ultimately our goal when we read, right? So we can describe all characters using three things, with those things being traits, feelings, and motivations. Okay, so let's take a look at these in depth together for a moment starting with traits. Scroll down. Okay, so traits describe a character's personality and also tell a reader who the character is through actions, thoughts, and dialogue. Okay, so in other words, traits are something that is seen through a the way a character acts, thinks, and also what they say. Traits describe the personality of a character, which means they more or less stay the same. Somebody, somebody's personality typically stays the same. So traits are something that you are going to consistently see in a character. So for example, um, those who know me know that I really love giving and receiving hugs, right? My students especially know I just love receiving hugs from people I love. Um, so people then might describe me as being a warm and affectionate person. So then that word affectionate is a word that you could describe my personality with. Therefore, that would be a character trait of mine, that I'm affectionate. Okay, next moving on to feelings. Feelings describe how a character feels specifically at a certain time in a story. Unlike traits. Feelings usually change over time or throughout a story, okay? So for example, right now I am feeling really excited to share this new content with you and this video lesson with you. But later when this video is done, I have a lot of chores to do that I'm not so excited about. So I know my feelings likely to change soon. Okay, lastly, character motivations are the reasons behind characters' actions. So the reason why they do the things that they do. Okay, so for example, I am motivated to continue teaching and supporting you, and that is the reason why I am making this video for you and why the other third graders, third grade teachers are also making these videos for you. Our motivation is to keep teaching and supporting you. But just like feelings, motivations can also change through a story. Okay, so just remember that traits stay the same, feelings and motivations can change. Okay, as a reader, we wanna really be stopping to think about characters 
and their possible traits, feelings, and motivations while we read. So we're going to do that together today while I read a story to you guys. This is a story that we're familiar with. I believe all of us have read it before in our own classrooms, but it's a great one to revisit, especially for characters and those feelings, traits, and motivations. Okay, so the book we're going to read together today is Verity by Janelle Cannon. Okay, let's go ahead and pause here for a moment. 